Hello friends, I am Varsha Sharma, working as assistant professor in the Biani group of colleges. On the behalf of Guru KPO, I am presenting lecture on the topic of investment objective and constraints. Investment means sacrifice something now for the prospective gaining of something later. There are three dimensions of the investment. First one is time, today sacrifice and the prospective gain. For example, a professor wants to buy unit of the unit trust of India of rupees 10,000. In this, investment three dimensions is very clear. First one is time, today sacrifice and the prospective gain. When we discuss the investment, there are two major points comes in the mind of investment. Investor, first one is all all investment is speculative. Second one is all investments are gambling. Same first one is that all are all investment is speculative. Generally, the investors are the risk averse. In investment, they take the carefully thought out decision making. They have a long term perspective in their mind and they take the calculated risk. But on the other end, in speculation, they don't have a carefully thought out decision and their decision is based on hot tips, inside dobs and the market rumors. And the investor has a short term perspective in their mind. So we can say that the basic difference between the investment and the speculation is investment has a long term perspective and speculation has a short term perspective. And in investment there is a carefully thought out decision making but in speculation all the decisions are based on hot tips, inside dobs and the market rumors. Second one is, are investment and gambling the same? Gambling means, generally gambling is matter of luck. There is no economic rational decision making behind it. For example, a cricket fan bets of rupees 100 on the test match of England. This is the basic example of gambling. gambling. And now we discuss the investment objective. First investment objective is near high term priority goals. Near high term priority goals generally relevant to the emotions of the investor. So the investor wants to achieve it very fast or within a few years at most. For example, house. Every investor wants that he has his own house. As a result, his investment vehicle in this goal for achieving this goal is cash equivalent securities and fixed income securities. Second is long term high priority goals. Long term high priority goals is relevant to the investors long term financial planning and their financial independencies. For example, financial independency of an investor after his retirement and starting a collection of funds for the education of 3 years old child. These are the basic examples of the long term high priority goals. As a result, as a result that they have a priority of long term investor used a diversified portfolio for their investment using a different class of assets. Third one is low priority goals. Low priority goals are low priority goals have a very much low priority in the scale of priority. If they are not achieved, it is not painful for the investor. For example, donating a funds for the charity. Last one is wealth maximization goal. Where the wealth maximization goals pertains to those individuals who want to maximize their wealth and they and those individuals who are not satisfied for their conventional savings and investment approach. And the next or the last topic is investment constraints. Investment constraints, first one is liquidity. Liquidity means convertibility into the cash. Every investor wants to be a liquid investment. Second is age. Age is also a basic constraint of the investment. In earlier age, investors are able to take the risk, but, but after a certain age, he is unable to take the risk. And need for the regular income, major objective of the investment or an investor is a need of the regular income and he has a long term perspective in their mind. Last, next is time. Time is also considered by the investor. There are two time period, short time period and long time period. Generally, short time period is taken by the uh, speculators and long term perspective is taken by the investors or a journal investment. And last one is risk tolerance. This is also a constraint of the investment. This is based on the investment. Whatever he want to take risk, he takes risk and generally he avoid the risk and take only a calculated risk. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much.